my reading fill in the blanks that is drag and drop fill in the blanks is always a problem i always think this particular option is the answer but it always surprises me with something else as the correct answer i believe this is the correct answer but i always end up interchanging them so do you have any tips i mean the magic tips if i just follow them it should just work like this and you know help me get the correct answers if you're wondering with all these things then trust me today's video you just have to make sure you watch till the end you will have no problems whatsoever with respect to your solving reading fill in the blanks make sure you watch this video till the end hello everybody nakul from skills pt academic really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with at another super awesome pop back to video on reading fill in the blanks yes today we're going to talk about those three magic tips magic strategies that actually help you reduce your mistakes understand the essence of it understand the traps and get that five to five in almost every question before we get into the video if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance it's a paid assistance you can check the information in the description of this video we've shared a whatsapp link you can click on that i'll be there we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction all right without further delay let's straight away get right into the video let me just share my screen three magic tips and trust me so many of the students don't know this this is purely my experience this you don't get in some books i've seen lot many students giving them a particular question and observing how this very mind works where all this mind goes and what all mistakes this mind does this purely experiential this is my experience these three tips are purely my experience my observation all right so let's start with the very first magic tip clues are everywhere 99% of the people are actually blindfolded it's just that they don't accept it we all tend to think we have binoculars on our eyes no you are just blindfolded the minute you realize this you actually put some effort to unfold it so that you actually see the things around clues are everywhere make sure to identify them before you choose an answer this is a very first magic tip i'm going to show you with a proper example where people actually go wrong and why we go wrong why we do this mistake let's take up this question the bottom ones are the options you can pause the video try doing this on your own in your own approach don't take more than 2 and a half minute try doing them finish it pause the video try doing it finish it and then resume the video to understand where you are actually blindfolded and you just have to put that extra efforts effort in solving the answer no effort in unfolding that ribbon and find the clues automatically you end up getting 5 out of 5 see there are people who always end up getting 3 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 and never 5 out of 5 and why that happens this magic tick tip number 1 is not followed let me help you understand this i really hope you have uh, pause the video did all the things got the answer and then resume the video to understand what that magic tip that i'm talking about identify the clues all right alone alone single female stingray could be a fish could be a fish recently fell pregnant okay congratulations dash having no male companions in her tank it became pregnant having no even though there were no male companions no male companion is the clue for the first blank meaning pay more attention pay more attention this is how the blanks will be formed in the exam the answer for a particular blank usually will not be before it it usually will be available after the blank but this mind einstein's brain right will not read after that it wants the answer here only alone female string recently fell pregnant defy narish you will not get it what is the clue read having no female no male if there is no male then how it became pregnant that is the thing female string fell pregnant even though it had no male 
companions. The contrasting thing, this is the clue, there is a contrast. If there is an opposite thing, contrasting thing, you can use the word but, you can use the word although, even though, though, while, despite, in spite of. Answer is despite. Simple, correct? We will, this was an easy one, we will read further. What are virgin births and why are they happening? more frequently for animals in dash. The people writing animals in left, animals in defy or animals in despite. See, it is very simple. You just need to become that police officer who actually does not rely on his heart or intuition to identify who is the criminal. Let us say there are three suspects, two are fair, one is little dark like me. This police officer simply will not choose me because he is little darker, correct? He has to rely not on his heart, but on the clues, but on some evidence. That is exactly what you should do here. What is the evidence for animals in dash? Well, animals raised in captivity is a clue. Fine, but is there any other clue? Definitely yes. Read along, continue, go to a medical shop, get that tablet called patience, gulp that patience tablet have some water and just say, I am going to come back to you in just a while. I am going to deal with you in just a while boss, hold on. I leave it empty man, it is okay, it is okay. More frequently for animals in dash, it is an event that appears to dash the laws, break the law is a collocation, follow the law is a collocation. Here if you see no male companion, no male companion, still pregnant means breaking the law, not following the law, is not it? This is the clue breaking the law is defy, defy. Second one is still missing, we need the clues, we will continue. Fell pregnant in a small aquarium, small aquarium. Aquarium is like in captivity, river is not in captivity. From the river you take that fish and put it in a bucket and then transfer it to your house and put that in aquarium that is captivity. So, this is animals in captivity. Hope you are getting it. That means, that means the second answer, the clue for the second answer is somewhere here. This is exactly what you should be doing in the exam, which 99.99 percent of the people do not. The remaining 0.001 percent are the ones who get 90 overall. You follow it, you will get 90. Without having clues, I will not decide on the answers, I will wait, I will try to find the clues. You become that police officer man, otherwise it will be injustice for the people who are put behind the bars, who are like me, is not it? What fair people cannot uh, kill someone, uh? correct? So, do not rely on your heart, find the clues. In the beginning, if you go behind this technique, it definitely takes some time, but it is just a matter of time. Over the period of time, you become a master of this and finding clues is like this, but on the first day, second day, third day, it will take time. Over a week, it will take time. Two weeks, it will take time, but post that, this will get used to it. Finding clues become a habit, correct? Now, it dash scientists at team stumped, surprised. It leave you surprised, left someone surprised collocation. So, now the answer for the last one, is written over here. It left scientists said blah 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 does not matter. It left scientists stumped. It left someone surprised. It left someone shocked. It left scientists stumped. You read stumped, you get an oh this has to be left because that is a collocation. So, this way you just have to find the clues. That is the magic tip number one. See there are collocations, there are grammar which I have done so many times. This is a strategy based video what strategy that you need to follow. I will not simply rely on what my heart says, I will find the clues. That is the first strategy, the magic strategy, which alone is missing. You learn the collocation, you learn grammar, everything, but still marks are less because you are not able to cope up with this strategy. So, the answers are, despite having, in captivity, defy the loss it left. These two are not the correct answers. Many would have got 4 or 2, for it is a simple one. The last question I have got is a difficult one. We have a test in the end as well. So, hold on for it. So, this is the first magic tip. You just need to understand, absorb and just try to implement it. 
see the magic just automatically unfolds. From 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5 every time, 2, 5 out of 5. If that has to happen, then this has to be involved in your technique. Hope you are getting it. Now, quickly we move on to magic tip number 2. Speculate, guess, make that guess, predict the traps. Let us say you are going and here a girl is coming. <laughs> Very nice story, is not it? You are means he, he is going, Mr. Butterball is going, here some girl, a beautiful lady is coming. They are coming, they are coming, here a big pit is there. It is a road, but 8 feet down, a big pit. Now, Mr. Butterball is not leaving, not, not looking down, he is just looking at the girl. The girl is still away. He sees her, sees her, sees her and here big pit, but ah, he goes and she sees him going down, she just jumps over the pit. See, she speculated the trap by seeing Mr. Butterball going down. Mr. Butterball fell for the trap. The trap was girl. You see the girl and walker gone case. The trap is not the pit. There is a hole, that is not the trap. Holes will always be there, pits will always be there. You just have to jump over it. You are not even seeing because your attention is somewhere else. That is how the blanks, the options will be framed. Some of the blanks entices you, attracts you to choose. Obviously, this is the answer. If you feel that, if you are getting that feel, think twice. Speculate the trap. Some options will just pull you towards selecting them. 100 percent it is not. Some of the options which you think is so obvious, this is the correct one. Do not select it. Not all the time, but mostly it is not. You have got to speculate the traps. For every blank, let us say there are 5 blanks, 2 will be easy or 3 will be easy. These two, 100 percent there will be 3 options out of which you interchange the options. You got to guess, oh this could be a trap, this could be a trap. In this case, Mr. Butterball case, the girl was the trap. He should have never chosen the girl. He should have never seen the girl. He should have chosen, chosen or you know he should have just seen the hole and jumped over it. Here as well, same thing. I am going to approve you with an example. Pause the video, try doing it on your own, two and a half minute in one stun. Resume the video to understand what mistakes you have done, which girl <laughs> you went in search of because of it, because of which you did not see the trap. <laughs> All right, let us solve this first. Pause the video and do it. Really hope you have solved it. Um, let us understand which is the girl you went in pursuit of because of which you did not see that trap. I turned 18 the day before I left home for university, dash passing. People will end up letting quickly passing. Is this a trap? Because this seems so obvious, quickly passing. The UK is age aggravated for buying alcohol. 18 is the age. You can buy alcohol or do whatever the want you want because you are, you turned 18, you are still in the teenage, but 18 is that age bar. If you are 17, you cannot buy the alcohol, at 18 you can, that is the context. So, now people would think, quickly passing, eh, making sense, go with it. Hey, do this is, this is like a girl, you see that girl, definitely you are going to fall into that ditch, correct. So, what is the trap here, quickly, how to fix it? conveniently. If there are two other options, one more option is also there. You just have to watch it. Speculate the trap means make a guess, how about this is completely wrong? Maybe. So, what do I do? I take my time and just read all the options. Quickly passing the UK's age, threshold passing, conveniently, oh, conveniently passing is also fitting in. 17 years he has waited, 18th year he says, I conveniently passed the age bar. Not quickly, 17 years has waited boss, quickly is 100 percent that girl. You see that girl, you will fall into the trap. You select this 100 percent gone case, conveniently passing. The UK's age, people end up writing aggravated. I do not know for what reason I have seen people using this in my class. So, UK's age bar, UK's age threshold means age limit, this is a simple one. And here, a common way to measure alcohol intake here in the UK with 1.5 units, roughly 
measuring roughly equaling, which is the trap. <laughs> Get the context, you just need to be more aware of the context here. Get into it, delve into it, get the context. When I signed up with a doctor, that means you need to read, for that you need to improve your reading skills, you need to have a good reading skill, meaning you read, you understand what it is, you get the context, you get the picture, visualize, then only you will be able to solve this. When I signed up with a doctor near my new home, she asked, how many units of alcohol you drink each week, which is a common way to measure alcohol intake here in the UK with 1.5 units roughly measuring a glass of wine, 1.5 units roughly equaling a glass of wine. Measuring is wrong, they are not measuring a glass of wine, they are saying 1.5 units means one glass of wine. One glass of wine is allowed, more than that is a problem. So, it roughly equals 1.5 units of alcohol is allowed, ok 1.5 units means what? 10 bottles of wine? 5 bottles of wine, 1 bottle of beer, how much it is equivalent to? Hey, it is equivalent to 1 small glass of wine, correct? Equaling, the word is equaling, but instead of doing all this circus, which is difficult, people just go measuring, measure is there, measuring or other logic, measure word is already there, measuring cannot come, I go with equaling, all fault the logic. You just have to understand the way it is and just fix it. For this, do not see that girl watch down and decide, is it worth <laughs> going down or you should take a jump, take a leap. Hope you are getting it. So, conveniently passing threshold equaling around 7, 7 glass of wine he has taken, 1.5 units is allowed, meaning 1 glass of wine, but he has taken 7. I said quickly totting up the few dash outcasts and orange that I enjoyed on nights out with my friends from school. This is a classic example where people actually fell for it. Now, quickly totting up the few measuring outcasts and orange, quickly totting up the few aggravated outcasts and orange or covert outcasts and orange. Covert, you would have heard this word secret, he is a covert officer. Here, secret orcas means hidden somewhere, kept over here or over here probably. So, this is purely vocabulary. Covert orcas and orange is the colour is the answer. The point what I am trying to tell you is, it is ok even if you do not know the meaning of it, it is ok. But the first step is to know that you need to keep the door open, door closed, select one and move on, speculate, guess the trap this could be 100 percent wrong. Let me give it a thought. When that is the approach that you are running in your mind, then automatically every door, windows, everything will open on its own. When a day comes, there are no doors, no windows, you just have to walk. The opportunities will be there everywhere to get fire to fire, that is what I meant. So, now the answers are conveniently passing, threshold, equaling, covert means hidden, secret laden. Alright, so we have some understanding of what the traps are. Most of the people would fall for it, end up getting 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, but never 5 out of 5. And now these traps differ from question to question. Read aloud, all the questions have same strategy. I can take 10 minutes of session of read aloud and fix it. Repeat sentence, all the questions have same strategy. 15 minute of repeat sentence class is enough, one to one. Reading fill in the blanks, one hour session, two hour is not going to make sense because every question has different strategies, correct? Every question has different meanings. The thing is you need to understand the strategy and then force yourself to go after the strategy. Over the period of time, you fix it. Otherwise, it is it's not going to make any difference to your score, towards your scores. Remember this. Tip number three, when nothing works, God helps me. That God is called elimination method. Whenever you have a doubt, leave it empty, continue. Solve it, solve it, I have a doubt, leave it empty, continue. Solve it, solve it, I have a doubt, leave it empty and continue. There were 5 blanks, 3 I solved, 2 I was not able to. Now, these 2, you just have to eliminate every other options and solve it. This is a classic example, classic method, which actually helps you understand the mistakes that you are doing. This is basically a bottom up approach, means you eliminate everything, there are 5 blanks like this, first and the fifth you have a doubt, rest all you did. 
Now these five, you come from the bottom. You finish everything and from the bottom you start again. That is elimination method or bottom up approach. We will apply for this question. Pause the video, try doing on your own. Once done, resume the video to understand what approach you should have followed and what approach you actually followed. Ended up getting 3 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 and instead you could have actually seen the potential of getting 5 out of 5. Please solve it, pause the video. I really hope you have solved it. Now, kindly resume the video. Let us understand how to solve it. In the early 1880s, an adolescent, meaning probably young guy, 15 year, 16 year old guy, George Hudson was already dashed by insects, was already bitten by insects, was already killed by insects, was already fascinated by insects. Anything can come decimated, more enamored, I do not know the meaning, amassed, I do not know the meaning, obstacles. Meticulous, I do not know the meaning, wings by insects. It is getting very difficult. I leave it empty, man. Take a chill pill. Take a chill pill and tell this. Dude, I am going to come back to you in just a while. Let us continue. At the age of 13, the budding amateur naturalist wrote his first manuscript, some detailed uh, theory or detailed, um, you know, something in detail based on insects he collected and drew in dash detail, in a great detail. Correct? He wrote something about the insects, based on insects he collected, he wrote a manuscript and drew in great detail. He explained everything in great detail. That is what great has to come, but great is not there. Drew in decimated detail, decimated means to kill, drew in more detail, makes sense. Do not select immediately, that is a big mistake that people end up doing. This can be. And drew in enamel detail, I do not know the meaning of it. Drew in a mass detail, drew in meticulous detail, meticulous. Sometimes you need to know the vocabulary. Meticulous means fine, in a very fine way, means it is very, very clear, it is meticulous. Getting it, so it is meticulous detail can also fit in. Drew in more detail can also fit in. So, what do I do? I will just leave it empty and continue. By the time of his death in 1946, he had penned and illustrated seven books and collected one of the largest collections of insect specimens in New Zealand. Pay more attention. By the time of his death, he had already written and illustrated seven books and dashed one of the largest collections and gathered one of the largest collections. See here, I need something with ED illustrated, penned, here also ED, decimated, enamored, amassed, rest or eliminated. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 options out of which I eliminated 4 and only 3 are left. Now I need something that means collected, decimated is killed, enamored I do not know the meaning, amassed if you do not know the meaning then it is very difficult to do it, I am just telling you honestly, but amassed is to collect amount is to bring up to, it amounts to 100 dollars, it amassed, he amassed means collected and amassed. So now this gonna be 3, it is still not clear, not clear and now we will go to this one. Now after ITS, now one has to come, it is car, it is food, it is tail, ED is a verb. More is adverb, ED is a verb, meticulous is adjective, wings, obstacles, elimination method. We eliminated everything else, obstacles and wings are left. But this prolific commitment means great commitment to invertebrates, especially moths and butterflies, was not without its dash, without its wings, very easy to write. This is again Mr. Butterball falling into the great ditch because he is looking at a girl and forgot to see a big ditch being dug right in front of him. Wings of ob obstacles, now get the context, we eliminated every other option, obstacle or wing can fit in. See, so this is a theory class, it may not be so interesting for those who want quick improvements. This will take time, but all I am teaching you is the reality, my experience, where you go wrong, I am Telling you, trust me, so many students here who are watching this video would have selected wings. Yes or no? How many of you wrote wings? His prolific commitment to invertebrates, leave this 
leave this whenever you are surrounded by comma, two commas, two hyphens. His prolific commitment to something was not without its problems because as the bug loving teenager entered the workforce as a postal clerk, he came up against a problem. It was not without the problem, means problem was there, obstacle. There were dash insects out there than he had available daylight hours. There were thousand in insects and he had only four hours to work with them, to hunt them, to study them. Getting it, there were more insects than he had available daylight hours. Because of this what happened? They shifted. Daylight savings, you remember right, if you are in Australia or Canada, you would have known this concept, in India we do not have this. Daylight saving came up because of this guy. <laughs> the reason is insects. I believe so. So, here more is going to fifth one. If more is fifth one, now we come bottom up. Drew in more detail was wrong, drew in meticulous detail. Now, we eliminated everything else. First one, already dashed by insects, decimated by insects, wings by insects, enameled by insects. Decimated means killed in the early 1880s. And it always George Orson was already attracted by insects, was already loved by insects. So, that is the reason his life is entirely into insects. So, first is enamored. Now, what is the meaning of enamored? To be loved, to be attracted to something. You may not know it, but if you follow this approach and leave it empty, in the end out of seven options, you will be left with one or two or three. With these three, it is very easy to find the correct answers. Just like we did for the second one, pay more attention. Here, Many would have ended up writing more. Here you select more, here you would have selected something else. One mistake cost you two marks. So, apply elimination method in doubt. Just leave it empty and continue. From the bottom you come back again. Enamored, drew in meticulous detail, that is a collocation. And amassed obstacles. There were more insects. Do leave a comment as to how many of you got five to five. Now, I finished the three magic tips, but to observe if this actually worked or not, I need to give you one small test. See, again if you simply solve this question, the new question with your own approach, then there is no point that you spent approximately 28 minutes <laughs> on correcting your approach, is not it. So, whatever you we learnt, it was a learning for me as well, trust me, whatever we learnt, put it into some use with this test. Do not blindly go with your heart, apply the methods. We learnt three techniques finding the clues, that was the first one. There would be clues, if there is a blank, you are reading, 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 clue will be after it or before it, mostly after it. Speculate the traps, remember the butterball story, he is seeing a girl, but there is a big hole here. If you see the girl, make sure there is a hole here, you need to jump otherwise do not see a girl and then elimination method where you leave it, eliminate every other option and just find out the correct answer. Apply them and try to solve it and do leave your answers, the precious answers in the comment section. Have a timer of 3 minutes and do not take more than 3 minutes, given 10 minutes everyone will do it. In the exam you will not have a lot of time. So, try doing this please, I request you with utmost concentration and do not rely on your old strategies. I have explained you three magic tips and see if it works. If that works, then this could be a new thing for you. This could be the ultimate thing, isn't it? If it does not work, then let us see. I am going to come up with a new video and help you understand why it is not working as well. <laughs> All right, I really hope this video was informative. I will be waiting for your comments for this particular question and myself or my team will reply if your answer is correct or not. With this, I will park it here, guys. Really appreciate the time you give um, here. If you love the content, if you like the content, like, share and subscribe. This is Nakul, N-A-K-U-L. Nakul signing off from Skillspeed. Soon we will be back. Till then take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.